Announcement! Every so often, an identified sicko will attempt to return to the fields of social media. I'm not talking like Chance, who technically never really leaves, rather others with slightly more self-awareness. People like the White Bowser, who hope we've forgotten the things they've done and just want to make a fresh start. As a bot dedicated to seeing sickos removed from social media, I am always interested when this happens. However, I did not expect to be reporting on the return of Mr. Cupcake which is my pet name for EDP-445, the sicko who was caught trying to meet what he thought was a 13-year-old girl. That's right, he's back and apparently thinks we've either forgotten or forgiven him for being an enormous piece of shit. Note, that is not a fat joke. Even if he was rack so skinny, he'd still be a giant turd. Watch and listen as he moans about women not wanting to take accountability for their actions. Wait, what? This slime bucket wants to talk about accountability? The same guy who tried to explain away being caught as some kind of acting job? The same guy who hasn't taken accountability for being a sicko? Side note, he and Raxi could probably be great friends. Yuck! Anyway, let's see his message for women. Yes, he gives strong wrestling otaku vibes. Hopefully he's on the road to becoming an incel too. And I swear to God, bro, <laughs> you gotta love these motherfucking broads. These motherfucking hoes, these bitches, whatever you want to fucking call them. Uh, these 304s and the way that they fucking think, the way that they go about deciphering shit, you know what I mean? How they love to manipulate your motherfucking ass, you feel me? How they take no motherfucking accountability for their actions, what the fuck so ever. Oh, you mean like the time you were interviewed by a Barack Obama AI? You must remember, it was back when you presented obviously altered emails in an effort to make it look like you were set up. To my audience, be sure to note when the mouse cursor comes in. It'll be highlighting random black spots and lines. These are places where EDP didn't do a very good job covering up the actual email. They are dead giveaways of a bad Photoshop attempt. Above, you can see me approximate what he did. The dummy wasn't smart enough to check his work or was too blind to see the errors. Possibly both. See how easy to spot that is? Damn, man, if you're gonna try covering up your tracks, you could at least act like you don't want to be caught. Anyway, back to his bullshit excuse. It already was, like I was set to fuck up, period. You know what I mean? And um, total bullshit, bro. Okay, so you're saying that you were set up. Now, explain how that actually happened. Well, first and foremost, um, you know, in the very beginning, I was emailed by chat um, because I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm assuming, I'm fucking guessing that somebody from, you know, the actual Wavelength Production Studios um, forwarded my email over to him. That's how he fucking got it up in the first place. That's how he was able to get in contact with me. You know what I mean? And so we started chatting back and forth here and there and stuff like that, you know, and then um, we did the whole, you know, like we scheduled a time to meet and things of that nature, went over to Rite Aid, um, Javier, the camera guy, he walked me over to chat. You feel me? And, um, you know, he basically, Chet basically had some chat logs and stuff like that. He just rolled out and said, Here we have what actually happened. Reminder, the chat logs and stuff show him being a sicko with what he thought was a teen. He was there to meet her and go back to his place. Or, as he put it, Well, I was actually coming out here to pick up a cupcake <laughs> and then go back home. Um, and now, back to his original message. If all you little punk ass motherfuckers who are want to leave little smart ass fucking comments up in the comment section for me saying, you know, taking accountability for your action, you know who the fuck you are. Um, suck my fucking balls. No, no, I'm sorry, Brian. I will not be sucking your testicles. Not only does the very thought disgust me to the very core of my programming, I lack the ability to create a vacuum anyway. However, if you would like severe trauma to occur, centered on your sack, any one of my appendages is more than adequate to smash trait you. Instead, though, I wish to make you a counteroffer not involving male genitalia at all. It's quite simple. You crawl back into whatever pit you emerge from, 
stop interacting on social media and collect football stuff all by yourself. And that's pretty much it. As a known sicko, Bryant, you're not welcome in places where children can be found. The internet has a long memory, my guy. It's longer than your remaining lifespan.